Hey guys, in this section of the tutorial, we'll cover installing WordPress uh, sites. Now that we have our database and PHPMyAdmin admin installed, now we can go ahead and install our WordPress sites. Uh, if you have not watched our previous videos, we su I suggest go back and watch those first. Uh, we show you how you create a um, droplet in, in DigitalOcean connected with Zoom admin. You know, install MySQL, install PHP admin, create databases uh, for WordPress sites, create users for WordPress sites, and then um, now in our next section, we'll actually go ahead and, and install WordPress, two WordPress sites actually. So we had created this initial WordPress application here, but we have not published it. As you can see, it's in draft mode here. So we're gonna go ahead and edit this and just select our server one again and just go ahead and publish it's that simple as you can tell for the most part the process is pretty similar yes we do have some advanced uh, settings there but uh, the, temp the templates are pre-configured with all the settings required to run your applications so you pretty much don't have to make any changes um, so this will take a second or two in the, in the meantime, I'm gonna create the second WordPress site here. Um, so we can have that ready. WP2. Again, I'm naming this WP2, but give, you, could, you could give it more meaningful names for your websites or applications. And I'm gonna go ahead and deploy this as well since I don't have to wait for the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and publish this as well. So now this is pending, but our WordPress one here is live, and this is the public IP. By the way, if you are, as you know, Zoom Admin also work, works with private servers, and sometimes if you deploy applications on your private server, you can access them using a private IP URL instead of the public IP. So in this case, we have our public IP here. We're gonna click on here. Um, as you can tell, the WordPress installation window comes on. I'm hit on continue. Let's go. And I know our database name. So database name is WordPress one, right? We name. By the way, it's a good idea to go back to your PHP my admin and make sure you uh, input the correct um, configuration here. And we know the user is WP1 user. The password we have saved from installing it. And here the host, it's not localhost, right? The host is either, uh, and same thing, either the container name, if it's running on the same server. If it's not, you give it the IP colon port number, right? Like this, either way it should work. So in this case, because I'm running it on the same server, the host name is not localhost, it's actually uh, the name of our MySQL container. And click on submit. Let's run installation. I'm gonna name this as WordPress one site. Um, username just uh, Zoom admin. Again, you can name it whatever you want. This is the password, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that as well. And again, save all these passwords, configs somewhere safe for you, so you always have access to them when you need, when you need to use them. Um, email, I don't know if it's required, let's try to install it from without email. I guess it is required. So I'm gonna put my email here, michaeletzumadmin.com. Install. Let's go ahead and log in. So we know our login was Zoom admin, and the password is the one we copied and saved again. And let's go ahead and log in. Voila, our WordPress site is installed, and if I just take out the admin part and go back, or well, maybe the easy way would be just click on this again, it'll open a new window. This is your WordPress one website. So now we're gonna do, do the same thing, except this time for our WordPress 2 application here, as you can tell, it's running. So we can um, navigate to that here. 
and do the same steps except we now have to give it the second database name and the second username which is wp2 user and the second password the host is still the same which is mysql1 by the way if you mistype something it will, it will give you an error message it will tell you it's unable to connect and uh, let's go ahead and submit and run the installation we're gonna name this wordpress2 same username we're gonna copy this password as well okay and then same email is fine let's go ahead and install now that it's installed i should be able to log in with my uh, password and and username and voila as you can see this is wordpress 2 site is created and it should be alive now now that, that you go here so it'll tell you the wordpress 2 site so now we have our wordpress 1 I'll refresh this make sure it's working again wordpress 2 is good and it's all alive um, and that was that easy uh, as you can tell it's using the port number now because we have not mapped a domain to make it uh, friendly url right so that's not, that's what we're gonna do in our next section in this section we covered how, how you uh, install wordpress and you, you saw how easy it is once you have your database and php admin configured and your databases and users created uh, it's really easy to go ahead and install wordpress thanks for watching in our next section we'll go over mapping a domain to your wordpress site or multiple of them actually thank you